We have some bad news for Roman Reigns. There's a new report on when he's coming back to the WWE, and it does not sound like it's going to be anytime soon. Russell Votes tweeted this, saying, I'm told that although Roman Reigns will be off TV for an indefinite period of time, he will still have substantial creative input in the evolving Bloodline storyline over the course of the next few months. Being out for an indefinite period of time does not sound good. We should not expect to see Roman Reigns return until the episode where he's actually being advertised to come back, which is August 2nd. This is the SmackDown before SummerSlam. That means we are not seeing the Tribal Chief for another five months, which is a shame. This part-time version of Roman is so hard to watch. It's hard because he's one of the best things in pro wrestling right now. And when he's on TV, you know you're in for a great segment or you're in for a great match. However, the fact that we see him for a limited amount of times makes it hard because we barely see him and that just makes us wanting him even more. Like when you get a good segment or a good match out of him, you realize you need to wait five more months for the next one and it's just a double-edged sword. It's like, why couldn't Roman just be booked like this from the beginning especially when he was a full-time wrestler things would have been so great anyways with that being said there was this picture of Roman Reigns that came out showing that he's doing some work in Hollywood could this mean that he's making the transition out of the WWE and into Hollywood joining the likes of John Cena Batista and The Rock Probably not, but it is interesting to see him take on new projects. Hopefully it works out for him. The one good thing about that Russell Votes report is that he's going to be working on the creative side of the Bloodline storyline. As we saw in the last SmackDown, that story is red hot. Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman have been working on the creative for some time now, and I know those two will continue to cook. Speaking of the Bloodline storyline, it looks like the next chapter is Roman Reigns turning babyface and reuniting with the Usos. Jay was recently on the bump and he said that he would like to see that with them being the good guys this time around. So he does want to see a reunion between him, Roman, and Jimmy. And I could see it happening. Rikishi also said that he thinks The Rock is going to turn on Roman, which will make Reigns the babyface. And I can't wait to see how that plays out. That's what a lot of people are expecting and it should be really good. But we probably have to wait another year or two just to see that happen. <laughs> anyway, speaking of Roman Reigns, it was reported that he was actually planned to lose the belt in 2023 at WrestleMania 39, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reported this. The original plan at last year's WrestleMania was for Cody Rhodes to defeat Roman Reigns. Both Vince McMahon and Paul Levesque were on board with the return from Peck surgery and the title win. A lot happened behind the scenes with the key points being argued and eventually agreed by all parties that it would be stronger a year later. It was also argued that keeping Reigns as champion would open up a key storyline to make Jey Uso into a major single star and merchandise draw as a babyface. While Vince did make the call, Levesque was on board with the call and there were no significant issues with the decision. It was said that it was absolutely not Vince overruling Levesque and forcing the decision. This was a good decision. Many people were unhappy with the decision at the time last year. I remember everybody panicking and freaking out about it, but I think it's safe to say that this was the right call. This year's WrestleMania main event is legitimately one of my favorite endings, if not my favorite ending in any wrestling match of all time. You cannot tell me that Cody losing last year was not worth this moment. We saw John Cena, we saw The Rock, we saw The Shield, Seth Rollins, and The Undertaker all come back to participate in this match. It was booked to perfection. I only wish that Cody Rhodes had better feuds after WrestleMania 39 before feuding with Roman Reigns again. There was a lot of filler programs, but besides that it was great and also he's a champion now so it does not matter too much what do you guys think was it better to have roman retain at wrestlemania 39 or should cody have finished his story last year Moving on from Roman and Cody, and we have an update on Drew McIntyre and his WWE contract status. Fightful reported this last week. Drew McIntyre's contract is up in late May and has not been extended as of yet. However, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reported this earlier today. Those in WWE expect Drew McIntyre to re-sign with WWE seen as enough of a given as he's being advertised on shows past contract expiration. The feeling was that while he had talked of taking time off, if not creatively fulfilled, that he very much is now and is seen as one of the company's top full-time wrestlers with Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. There is also a belief that WWE talent is less likely now to opt for AEW. 
even before reading this report, I had a strong feeling that it was going to resound with the WWE, and that's because Drew McIntyre does indeed feel like a top five star in the company right now. His ongoing feud with CM Punk is probably the best thing going on in wrestling right now, and Punk isn't even clear to wrestle. On top of that, he's also going to be the world champion very soon. It is obvious that the WWE is going to give him that belt back sometime in the near future. Being the world champion and being a top star is more than enough reasons to stay with the WWE. I'm also sure that they're going to pay him even more money than before because he has a new star power to him. I can't see him leaving for AEW. If anything, I would see him taking a short break to spend time with family before signing a new contract and coming back and feuding with CM Punk and then going on to become the world's heavyweight champion. WrestleMania has taken place in March or April for a long time now, and that tradition might be coming to an end. As reported by Fightful, there has been some discussion about possibly holding WrestleMania in May next year, including many other options. This comes after Nick Khan also said this about WrestleMania 40 and the cold weather that the fans experience. Going on in April at an outdoor stadium on the East Coast, assume you're not going to see that again. Going up against the Final Four Saturday night games, assume you're not going to see that again. Not only is it about the weather, but the WWE wants even more reviews, and it's also about avoiding the Final Four Saturday night games, and I like this decision. Some people are against it, but I'm not. WrestleMania in New York on a nice day in May sounds like the vibe, because I was at WrestleMania 35, and it was brick, and I was freezing. I was not happy about the weather at all, and I know while change can be scary, I think this is a great idea, and Nick Khan is all about making the best decisions for the WWE. This seems like one of them. The only weird thing is that WrestleMania WrestleMania and SummerSlam would be a little bit closer to each other, but at the end of the day, I'll still choose nice weather because weather is very important. And honestly, the cold just kills the crowd. And finally, there's a new report on Chad Gable and his future after turning heel on Sami Zayn in Montreal. It's being reported on the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Gable is expected to join forces with the Creed brothers and create a new faction. The WWE is really running back that current angle in the world's greatest tag team run, but this time it's going to be with Chad Gable and the Creed brothers. Will there be comparisons saying that this is too similar? Probably. But does it matter? No, I don't care. Chad Gable alone with those brothers could be really good i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i think perk gable especially with the creed brothers now could become big for the wwe and chad gable could even become world championship material and just think about a feud between chad gable and cody rhodes that would cook the creed brothers also get so much more credibility joining gable and they could even win the tag team championship soon this is a great idea and i am all for it anyways that is it for the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.